where do we begin? We've experienced Mary and Brandon from 90 Day Fiance for a while now. And we've experienced how toxic their relationship has been. And we've also experienced how much of a liar Mary really is and how much she's a scammer. And also on top of that, we also experienced Brandon even calling her a scammer himself as well as a gold digger. And that is something that was exposed on the tell all. Now, of course, when we was asked, when Brandon was asked the question, why did he say those things? He said, because there was times when he was in the States, if, if he was unable to give Mary money, Mary would always act out, which is something that clearly is believed. And of course, at the time, his mother even backed up that statement. But now we are in a position where things have gotten a whole lot worse. The picture has gotten bigger and not in a good way. Now, in case you don't know, at the very beginning of that season, we was told that Mary's parents had not been in her life and they had pretty much abandoned her, which is why she has abandonment issues, why she has trust issues and why she has the fear of being neglected and being left behind, which is something that she always said to explain why she has been the way she has been towards Brandon. But now we are in a whole different category. We are now in a category where we are now finding out that Mary's parents have both both been in her life and are still currently in her life and that's something that we're about to get into now of course this first image you can see next to me this one here as you can see underlined love you papa mama now this isn't just the only thing that i have here to give us evidence that mommy and daddy are in her life we have more Mm -hmm. and we're about to get into that one but before we do that we are on the road to 50k subscribers all we need is literally about less than a thousand more people for us to get there within the next three days 50k within the next three days i know we can do it so come on now get subscribing make sure you're liking the video the more likes the more helps us that algorithm the more comments the more helps us with the youtube algorithm as well so let's make it freaking happen now with that being said though let's get into the nitty gritty of exactly what has what we have found out and as you can see right here first and foremost if i just run away from the screen Below here, as you can see, there's a picture of a man holding midnight. And also this man here has got the, there's a circle around his picture. Now, why? Why is there a circle around his picture? It's because, well, this man has been discovered to be Mary's father, allegedly. Now, not only has that been the discovery, <laughs> we move on to exhibit two, or exhibit three, shall I say. In this picture here, we can see a picture of a woman next to Mary, where well, this woman has been has been reported as Mary's mother. And of course, the man has before been reported as Mary's father. Then we move on to the next one. Brandon taking a picture with the man that has now been confirmed, or well, not confirmed, but has obviously been, you know, found out to be Mary's father. And then also this one, and this one's my favorite one. And the reason why this one's my favorite one is because this is the one that annoyed me the most because Mary's mother was freaking at the wedding when we saw the wedding on the freaking episode. She was there the whole freaking time. And this is the woman that has now been revealed as Mary's mother. Allegedly. I don't want to say allegedly because this is generally true, but at the same time, I, I want to say in case, you know, whatever, right? Just cover myself. But here's the thing, though. Now, let's let's break this down. Let's break this all down. Let's really go down from layer to layer in this situation here. First and foremost, we are seeing Brandon's mother pictured with Mary's mother. So that means first and foremost, guess what? Mary, Brandon's mom even knows about Mary's, Mary's family being around. That is terrible because she's obviously been a part of this facade to make us believe that Mary has this uh, level of abandonment, level of neglect in her life, because mommy and daddy wasn't there. When, hold on a minute, they've been there. They've always been there. That is not cool. <laughs> I get it. Maybe she just wanted to support her son, but this is way too far because now we have been in a position where we have witnessed Mary use this abandonment issue situation right to play victim for too long now mary is the kind of person's not only the kind of person the person who has currently thus far lied about having cancer just to scam people about money lied about needing a laptop just to scam people back then <sighs> lied about her family not even being in her life and now i can definitely confirm this one clearly has been lying about having to work and provide for everybody because you see when it comes to mommy and daddy now i don't know the proof about them actually working but i'm pretty sure that they have been working as well so that means mary really has not been providing for the family the family has obviously been working themselves which obviously of course they have been how else would they have been surviving in in the philippines this whole time anyway they would have had to be working regardless right so there's been lies lies be lies made that of course we knew about and lies being made that we're discovering right now that i'm sure that nobody's surprised about 
but this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. The thing that bothers me the most is that uh, why did Brandon choose to want to marry someone who he knows is a scammer? Why did he choose to end up being with somebody that legit will do anything possible on this earth to get sympathy from other people just to scam them for money? That is embarrassing. Brandon needs to check himself. You're embarrassing yourself. Your life choices have been appalling. Because the thing is with Brandon now, we do know for sure his mom did neglect him because that was confirmed by the mother. But the fact that his mother also decided to go along with this is absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Now, here's the thing though. I don't know if the storyline was made up by TLC per se. But one thing that I do know is that this whole facade of Mary's parents not being there is something that Mary has continued to do moving forward as well, which makes me wonder this, makes me wonder this. Did they, did the family already have this storyline figured out before TLC even became a thing? Was this something that they thought they would do? Because here's the thing, Mary continues to always try and find a way to seek sympathy. She's always trying to find a way to make people believe that she's in this terrible position in her life and people should be sorry for her and therefore people should aid her with money or whatever it could be. <laughs> and it's crazy because you see, she's so in character that if you ask me personally, I wouldn't be surprised if this is something that's been going on for a very long time. Now at the same time though, how can Mary's parents even be comfortable with the fact that they have raised a daughter to behave like this? But it also we've got, to, we've got to also address the main concern. The main concern is that given the fact that Mary obviously does not have abandonment issues from her mother and father, the fact that she does not have a uh, uh, neglect issues or anything like from mother and father, it brings us to wonder this. Why is she in this mental space where she's hell-bent to behave the way she has been behaving? Because the way she's been behaving is not safe. It is not kind. This woman has literally come out on the social media, lie by cancer, to then try and talk about how she's going to take her own life just to make us feel bad. Always complaining about this. Always Always complaining about that. Clearly, Mary is in a position in life where she needs help, serious help. But here's the thing, though: Mary is never going to realize or never going to see the need to want to actually seek help. Not because of the fact that you get judged in the Philippines for not for not see, uh, you know if you end up going seek seeking help. That's not the real reason. She said it on the tell that if you do it here, people will judge you as if you're crazy. That may be the true. I'm not going to say it's not, but I don't believe that's the core reason. It's because you see, she's got people around her who are motivating, who are uh, who are enabling this behavior. And as long as the people around her are telling her, yes, you can keep doing this, she's going to keep, keep doing it as if she has nothing to lose, as if she's never going to be the wrong. Because nobody in her life is telling her that this is wrong. Nobody, everybody in her life seems to be yes people. And that is appalling. That is disgusting. That is just ugh, revolting. And the saddest thing about it is that this behavior is at the expense of of all of us people who are being triggered by this, all of us people that have maybe felt sorry for her, it is ridiculous. But like I said before, the fact that Brandon even thought it'd be okay for him to marry into the situation is ridiculous. He needs help as well. He needs to go see someone as well. And it's crazy because after the season ended, I walked away with a little bit of respect for Brandon's mother. Now, hell no, absolutely not. This is appalling. Absolutely appalling. Nonetheless though, I think I've said everything that I need to say. I'd definitely like to know what you guys would uh, I'd definitely like to know what you all think in the comment section. Like I said before, the more comments, the more likes, the better we do on the YouTube algorithm. And of course, the better we do, the more subscribers come in. But of course, the people coming in right now and watching this video, subscribe. We're trying to get to that 50k, which is literally less than a thousand more people before the end of this month, which is three days left. Come on now. I know you want to be here. Otherwise, why are you here? <laughs> we're done. We're out. Peace.